You're right. Yeah. I found Duke. You see, you're right. Yeah, yes, he he's in there. He's got Obrecht. Where's Faison? Luke's got him outside. All right. Yeah. Robin? See for yourself. Tell me, is the Scorpio Drake woman alive or isn't she? I don't know why you think I'd ever give you that information. Because if you don't, I may be required to tell everyone I'm not the father of that baby of yours. What did you just say? Why so surprised, Britt? Mm. No, I'm not saying anything you don't already know. I'm not the father of your baby. But, Sabrina, we're in trouble. What do you mean? I don't think there's going to be a wedding. Hi. Hi. Need help with that? Could you all dress up? You look beautiful. You took your glasses off. That's impressive. Oh, a little aspirin and hydration works wonders. Hang on, it wasn't that bad. You're drinking out of your shoe. You're exaggerating. I was not drinking out of my shoe. Damn it. What's going on? I think I was never good at these. Okay, what's wrong? Don't tell me it's the tie. Hey, I'm your best person. That's why I'm here, for you. What's on your mind? Rob. What do you see? That you're spending too much time in a tanning bed? I am Asian. That kid of yours looks nothing like me. And the older he gets, the more obvious that's going to be why you name me as a father. I, I, I panicked, OK? Patrick was threatening to sue me for custody. I, I had no choice. I had to tell him he wasn't the father. And then he demanded to know who was. And claiming a randy, gay, Asian dude being your baby daddy seemed like a good Idea? Yeah! Patrick already knew there was some sort of quid pro quo going on between you and me. I mean, he knew you had faked various test results and that I gave you the lab manager position. It made sense to him. And I figured you'd go along with it. I wish I did it. I wish I'd just blow this whole thing wide open back then. Well, you didn't, okay? And it's a little too late now. We're both committed. Go on, no, 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 no. Think again. Okay, I can still tell. Or. You can tell me the truth about Robin Scorpio Drake. What do you mean, Emma? Why can't we have a wedding today? Felix is in his bedroom. Yeah, he's working on my mother's dress. He's saying bad words, one after the other. Some I've never even heard before, but they sound bad. Oh, well, I think that means there's a problem. Well, I happen to know for a fact that Felix's sewing machine has a tendency to eat the thread and it drives him crazy. Cursing is just part of his process. But what if he doesn't finish the dress in time? What if he messes up? What if he can't marry Daddy today? First, you're thinking about Robin. I'm thinking about Robin. You're getting married today. It's a big step. It says you're moving on with it's your life. More than that. What do you mean? Ava Jerome came to see me today. What? What did she want? She said that she was here on behalf of her good friend, Carlos. Carlos, Sabrina's ex, Carlos? He recruited Ava to come make trouble for the two of you? 
to be honest, I'm not sure what to make of it, but he told her something about Robin. What? That he'd seen her in the lab. I knew you were alive. I knew it. I heard your voice on those audio logs in the lab. And then I saw your writing, and and Luke said that he'd seen you, but I couldn't trust it until right now. All I kept doing was concentrating on what was right in front of me, because every time I thought about it, it hurt too much thinking about how much I missed you, Mom, and I thought I'd never see you again. I'm right here. I was really scared. I know. I'm here, darling. I'm here. Oh, God. I got you back. Wow. I got you back. I'm here. I promise you, I will never lose you again. <laughs> Saying you're my baby's father doesn't cost you anything. Why are you using it as leverage to find out about Patrick's wife? Because Felix thinks I I'm this deadbeat dad, and I need to change that. I thought everything was sunshine and unicorns between you and your girlfriend. I mean, didn't you just say that he asked you to be his date to go to Patrick and Sabrina's wedding? <laughs> Yeah, he's starting to come around. Okay. But the fact that I could care less about this baby you keep telling everyone is mine is a problem. All right? I need to redeem myself. So if Patrick's wife is still alive, tell me. So Felix's best friend won't be humiliated. No, you mean so you can go to the wedding and play hero, right? Like you did when you went to that christening and told Dante and Lulu that <laughs> Their baby actually belonged to Spinelli and Maxie. She just took it upon herself to come and see me. To tell you that Carlos saw Robin in the lab. A guy who's only been here for a few weeks, who's never even met Robin. She said that he recognized her from a photo. Yeah, and I'm sure he knows that she died in a lab. Patrick, this is a sick way to torture you with an obvious no, lie no. to get you to postpone your wedding. I know, that's what I thought at first, too. But what? <laughs> When she was walking away, she said something she that I can't shake. She said, if Robin was alive, wouldn't you want to find out? I still can't believe it. You're both here. Together again. I love you both. <laughs> I want you to know something. That my daughter is the greatest gift I ever got. And thank you for convincing me that she's out there. You know, it's your father that saved you, you know that, right? Hey, don't you believe a word of it. <laughs> your mother's just been overly generous. It was a joint effort. Now, the best stuff we've ever done, we've created together. And you're the proof of that. Whoa! Whoa, stop, stop. take it easy. It's, it's only me. <sighs> Robin. Is that you? When Oprah had me locked up, you came to save me, only it wasn't you, it was Faison wearing that terrible mask. Oh, terrible for him. He's nothing compared to the real thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Much more handsome than he is. <sighs> Duke, I thought you were dead. No, no more tears. No tears unless they're happy tears. Okay. It's all over now. You're home. I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. I can't believe that it's actually happening, that you're all really here. I've been dreaming about this for such a long time, and it's finally happening. It doesn't matter what I wear. But you didn't like the dress that Felix got you. Then I'll wear my bathrobe. <laughs> okay, I promise I won't wear my bathrobe. Although, your daddy said that he would marry me even if I were wearing a paper bag. So no worries, there will be a wedding today. You and your daddy and I are going to be a family. A happy, wonderful little family. And it does even if Uncle Felix botches my mother's dress. Ye of little faith, your gown is ready. The wedding can now proceed as imagined. No, well, 
Not until we make sure Sprinter has good luck today. You don't think I should go to the lab and then check it out for myself? Hey, check what out? A story from Julian Jerome's sister? A known liar? Oh, I know. I barely know the woman, but... You know that Ava showed up at the Quartermain doorstep, lying about her daughter being a Quartermain just to get a piece of Edward's legacy. Yeah, but that's about money. Why would you try and do this to me? I don't know. I don't know what her connection is to Carlos or what he's promised her. I don't, well, I don't know. Well, she said it was about true love, that Carlos belongs with Sabrina and I belong with Robin. You did. You guys were amazing together, and you were truly in love. But she's gone. You know that. I just... And Carlos wants Sabrina, so he's made up this whole story. He's lying, and so is Ava. I know, but where would the story about her being in a lab come from? Where would... Patrick, don't do this. Don't undermine your happiness. Nobody is questioning your love for Robin. You honored her memory and you grieved for her for a really long time, and now you're moving on. I know you love Sabrina, and you're supposed to marry her in an hour. <laughs> you're really gonna go chase Robin's ghost now? <laughs>